Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Party 4. I'm Michael. And I'm Callie. And it is time for more story. 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 Story mode. So last time, um, we went to the jungle again, kind of. It was Shy Guy's jungle. Mm-hmm. This time. Yes, we would like to continue game. <laughs> don't. You don't know. You don't know if you want to continue or not. Yeah, maybe you want to start over. So, last time we did Shy Guy. This time we are going to do Goomba's Greedy Gala. The... I, this is probably my <laughs> least favorite board. Out of the ones that I remember for four, I definitely remember Toad's Midway Madness the most. Mm -hmm. This would be the next one. This one I remember, like, I just, I felt like the difficulty star, like how there's one, two, three, right, whatever. Right. This should have been like a six. A six. When I was a kid, this was a six for me. Because I just couldn't, it's easy enough to get around. It's the problem of like, they're, they're, you'll see. You'll, you'll fucking find out. If we get anywhere. I want to go first. Fuck. Go second. That's not bad. No, fuck off. I mean, so far, both the boards we've done have definitely had somewhat difficulty in maneuver. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it can They be... tried to fix that with the mushrooms, but they really just made it more difficult. Yeah. We've already stated this. Yeah, we've, we've already talked about it in the thread, which is now up. I think this is our first recording since the thread going up. I gotta... Hold on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Or not the thread going up, but since the... Discord. Uh, well, since the Discord went up and since we started Mario Party 4 in the thread. Threading. And it's the Excuse new me. year. Happy new year. Bear, it's been a new year for a while by the it, time this comes out. Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, this is day... Six of the new year. Day six of 2018. I mean, it's... Oh, fuck. It could be going better. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it could be going better. Yeah, I, uh, uh, it was a rough start. Fucking day one, we don't talk about. No, but at least the LP is good. Mm-hmm. I I'm glad that uh, people there. There seemed like there was a lot more votes this time. Well, you gave them a platform. I did give everyone a platform Plus, to I like vote. how you added the um, time to vote at the end, so people really do know when it is. Yeah, that's, I think that was a nice that, touch. That's been in there for a little while, but I think... I think with 4, though, it's more noticeable because it's a new day. A new it's a game. new game. Odds are, like, we, I imagine Mario Party 4 is one of the more uh, favorite of the Mario Parties. It's probably one of the more favorite Mario parties, so we might I get mean, more I mean, we were people. trying to discuss um, before we were started recording what the fuck we were going to do for the next... Oh, you were so close. I'll never beat that score. At least I was a well-rounded number. But uh, we were discussing, like, what we're going to do for... Like Mario Party 10. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think that's, about it. That's going to be interesting in the LP <laughs> for sure. Because um, with how the like style of Mario Party has shifted throughout the years, the way we do RLP for this Mario Party is going to shift with it because it's not going to be the same every time. Yeah. It's a good thing we have a schedule. <laughs> yeah, schedule things out so we know. I like that you have go. two schedules now. You have a f actual fucking physical copy, and then you have your like. Um, give it to me. The uh, digital. Yes. Like the digital, so I know which have been recorded and which have been uh, not recorded or uploaded and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Fuck like, me. Like the one on the computer is only has um, color coded. It's color coded. It only has the two main LPs, whereas my physical calendar one, I also I put mm -hmm. everything that's going up, like on the onto the channel. So that includes like the side videos and Overwatch and all that. Mm -hmm. like, that's all listed on there. And it's a good way for you to be able to go and look at what our schedule looks like and. Yeah, and I mean, there's nothing going on Thursdays. I don't know what Mel's talking about with this whole, like, 
doing too much. Yeah, that, okay, so back to talking about the game here for a second. So you have to spin this fucking wheel. You can pay the Goomba to, like, get to where you want to go. And the more you pay him, the better chance you got. The higher your odds. Yeah. And then the star, um... Oh, I like this game. Um, the star gives you 20 coins and then you get to choose where you go. Yeah. That's how gambling really works. Okay, I gotta remember how to do this. Good job. Thank you. I definitely would have thought I had to go back and see who the next wanted person is. Oh, really? Yeah, that, that was my first. <laughs> that was your thought? No, you just have to collect three of that wanted yeah. person. <laughs> Once you did the second one, I was like, oh, okay. So I've discovered a problem. Okay. So you close the blinds on my, my right side. Yes. Oh, the left side. The left side is very bright, plus the snow. It is, uh, I sometimes get very distracted. I should be okay. Probably after this recording session, you should probably go fix that. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I didn't even think about that side. I mean, we usually don't have a problem, but... No, but now there's snow on the ground. Snow. Yeah, sure. We got a lot of coins. But you also want to save your coins for... Oh, fuck. I mean... Fuck it, I'm taking it. Yeah, I mean, that's a guaranteed star once you get back up to 20. Which should be easy enough. I mean, to have been in the 30s mm -hmm. on this turn already isn't too bad. No. Yeah, I definitely remember the roulette. The hand definitely freaks me out. Yeah, the hand was always freaky. It, it bugs me that it doesn't spin. Mm-hmm. Wow. What? Everyone gets up there. Yeah, I probably won't. Considering how Luigi was was playing in our last recording, I'm surprised he didn't use the frickin' pipe. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I no. hate this, this one. This is the worst for the computer. <clears throat> it is. Like, it's just so bad. They just can't... They have no idea what they want to do with their lives. Oh, this is my worst nightmare. Oh, hey, Waluigi. Yeah, well. No, nope, Waluigi, come on. It's oh. a good start. Hopefully he gets to the key. Are you kidding me? Please turn the fuck around. Please, Waluigi. Please. Should be up in this corner. Come on. Please tell me he's following uh, me. He was. Fuck. I'm sure Frozen's gonna be like, you know, the if you just like lead him after you get the first one, they'll just follow you, and I'll be like. Well, you know what? <laughs> to start, like, which one was he going for? It looked like he was going for the key. Then yeah, he came back yeah, for the other the one. Yeah, that's why I went back down because I was like, okay, he's gonna go for the one up there. So I'll grab this one and then I'll just like go up to that one. Like, no. Then he like. I'm no. There's no winning. You can't win that one. You mm, just can't. No. Not unless you have another person. No. Oh, this was the thing I was talking about. So you pass this point. I don't think it'll work for Wario here because he's huge. But you'll pass that little six block thing right. with the arrow. And then you get to, I think it's roll dice and you have to go higher than the character that pops out. I'm pretty sure it's a Goomba. And if you don't, you get sent back to the start. Oh boy. I think if you do, you win like 20 coins or something. Or 10 coins. Or you just get to go buy. Something like that. How lovely. I don't know. I guess he didn't have enough coins for the star, but that was still kind of <laughs> weird. I don't know, Bear. I just kind of go through the motions. 
I just show up to this party. Yeah, so you can pay, I think, 5, 10, and 20. And I imagine if you pay 20, you're going to guarantee... Yeah, I pretty much have never had it where, like, you paid a 20 and you did not get that spot. Because that's how gambling works. You just got to pay the house more. Yep. Okay. Lucky minigame! Ooh! Times three. Okay, uh, times two times isn't bad okay. either. Oh, yeah. Yeah! I'm excited to get this one versus us. Oh my god, no. I don't want to. Like, I already know how that'll end, <laughs> and I just don't want to do it. Oh, excuse me. Because, I like, by now you would have won. I already know how I, it's going to end. I don't know about that. I think you would have won. I haven't played this one in a long time. I don't care. I mean, we do know I can button mash considering what we had to do before the LP started. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't talk about it. We don't talk about that minigame no more. <laughs> I can't wait to get it, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and kick my ass. Oh, so this was always cool as a kid, is that, like, there's a bunch of coins, and oh, then yeah. the Goomba pushes you, and you slide, and you can control how you move. To some extent. Yeah, it looks like you can control <laughs> how fast you spin. Then he sees stars! <laughs> then he's on the other side. Yeah, that's in the, the way you can travel between sides. Just snipe the the star out from under Luigi. Yahoo! Yeah. Yeah. So you got a haircut. I got a haircut. I last cut night. your hair. You cut my hair last night, and it oh looks way better. Oh my god! You looked like a fucking hobo. Eh. I mean, even I didn't like it at the end. Especially yesterday, I was just like, ah, oh, my neck. My thing is, like, I like your hair this length because I like running my fingers through it. I find it really sexy. But when it gets too long and I'm just like, uh, uh, uh. I want to rip it out of your skull. Nice. Thank you. I'll take this. So we watched something yesterday. We did? Yep. We, uh, watched some Bob's Burgers. Oh, okay. I didn't know where this was going. It was on Netflix, so while I was at work, Callie watched a, the first couple episodes, and she's like, I think you should try it. Oh, are you going to tell me what you thought? Yeah, I was going to talk about what I thought. Ah, uh, because I don't think I really under Like, I don't know if you told me... Oh, hey, wait, wait. Yeah, you win 10 coins. Nice. I don't think I, I can really lose. I think you can I lose. I think if you tie, you lose. Oh. That was close. But I won money. This game, this board, while needing money to get around, it at least looks like mm. it gives you strong amounts. So I'll get you to the slots, and, but going down... With... But no, it, it this is mini. Oh, that's a mini Yeah, thing. so I'll just get on to that thing. If I go down here, I lose coins. But then I'll hit the boo. Yeah, you'll hit the boo, you'll be able to steal oh. coins. Oh no! Oh no! I miscounted! Oh no! Oh no! Our first chance <laughs> no! time! No! I made a mistake! <laughs> no! Oh, my mistake. A reversal of fortune. Fuck off! <laughs> Why did they change that? I hate this. Oh my god. I do remember liking the slot machine at least. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, you ho. Oh. I feel sick. <laughs> I feel really fucking sick. No! No! Oh my god! 
No, it's always what Waluigi will give to you. I still don't care. It's still... No, I'm pretty sure there's a trade one, too. Yeah, no. See, there are trade. See the second one from the bottom? Trade okay. coins and stars. There's the blue and the red arrow. Oh, okay. Oh, God, I'm scared. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't mind. I don't that mind. That was the safest bet. <laughs> well, the other safest bet was trying to get into, like, one of the hanging ones, but that wasn't going to happen today. Oh, I'll you take it. You still have it. enough for the boo. That's all that matters. Oh, God. Oh. Never. I should have. I'm, I'm such an idiot. Life could have turned upside down and died. <laughs> oh. Oh. There, you guys saw that. We're never doing yeah, that again. Yeah, we, we don't want to do that again. And I don't know what he's doing. He had enough for the star. I'm pretty sure they like have items that they prefer to buy. Yeah, I guess that's a thing that's been in since two. Yeah. It's... So like he usually has a preference for the Sparky sticker. Oh my oh god. Oh my god, Luigi. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, Bob's Burgers. Yeah, okay. So... <laughs> Characters are pretty relatable. <laughs> I relate to Bob on such a fucking level. I have no money. <laughs> God damn it, Luigi. <laughs> I gotta win to have money. To then steal from Luigi. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, anyway, Bob's Burgers. The characters are pretty relatable. Bob. Um, I like that Louise is just Mabel <laughs> to an extreme. Literally because it's Mabel's voice actor. But also just because they kind of got that same kookiness to them. Mm -hmm. um, so I think Louise is my favorite of the kids. Not a big fan of Jean. No, I think Jean's my least favorite. I like Tina a lot. I, I definitely like the dynamic between Bob and Linda. Oh my god, I love Linda. I think my favorite people are Bob, Linda. And Louise. Mm, I'm... I kind of might like Tina a bit better than Louise, but I also really enjoy Louise. I think they're a tie for me. I okay. love them both. But their son is like the bottom of the barrel for me. <laughs> I like, I can't with him. Uh, it, it definitely has this kind of dry humor. Like, we, go, I got in the car with you because we were going on a date. And I was like, I'm not sure if I found it funny. Yeah, that's a thing. It's like... It, like, parts of it are funny. Other parts, I'm just kind of like, eh. And I don't know how much I can watch of it. I think, like, I could watch an episode a day. Like. Yeah, I don't think it's something I can marathon. It's definitely not a marathon show for us. But, like, I really did enjoy it. Mostly the second time through. Like, the first time through, I was just like, ah, yes, this is a thing. I, I like the episodes that are relatable, like the second episode The, the with, second episode has been my favorite so far. Yeah, with Bob being stuck in the wall because he doesn't want to... Stuck st in a wall. Because he doesn't want to spend time He doesn't time want to face his, his fucking in-laws. <laughs> and I'm just like, exactly! <laughs> that would be you. Getting stuck in the wall so you don't have to face the in-laws. I understand that completely. So it's stuff like that, and I did like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to think of it as we continue going on. I, I don't feel like I'm as engrossed as some of the other cartoons. Mm -hmm. Like Steven and Miraculous and Star and Gravity Falls. Right. Um, I enjoy it. It's like that one... It's like a show that I'll watch every once in a while. Yeah. That I, like, I'll enjoy. Just not to, like, an extreme point. But I enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed Tina and her fucking, like... The last episode we watched with the fucking uh, teacher. Yeah. The cap of... The capiera or whatever. Yeah. I enjoyed that. I also feel like there's a lot of endearing moments, like, with Bob and Tina... Um, yeah. In that episode where they're like father daughter time, and I'm like, oh. I, I like this new trend of comedy families that aren't about bashing each other to yeah. shit. Yeah, like they're a really loving family. 
as like, crazy Aw. as they are, and as much as Bob is like, my kids are failures. I'm a failure. <laughs> Everything's. A, but that's just his personality, where he's like, everything sucks. <laughs> yeah. It, but he never ever put down his kids to no. the point where it's like cruel. It's like, more except, of like what what I would be like with our kids, where I'd yeah. be like, "You fucking suck, Bobby," but secretly I hand him a cookie. And then the parts like, "What is wrong with you, Louise? Why would you do this?" But no, I mean it's that's like, true. Like Louise told everyone that like hamburgers were made out of people from the uh, cemetery next door. <laughs> I like how long it took. Like the first episode, I'm like, "Who is this?" Like I know this voice. And then, like, the second episode, cer- she said cereal, and I'm like, it's Mabel! <laughs> I don't know why I associated cereal with Mabel, but I got it. Ah, oh, poor Waluigi. You're adorable. Has anyone ever told you that? Yeah. You have. Aw. Get out of here, Wario, you piece of fucking shit! No wonder your mother fucking hated you. <laughs> God, fucking finally! I like the <sighs> fake words. Yeah, it's kind of cute. I think I just like family shows. Yeah, I like family shows. Where it's shows. like a cute family that f makes fun of each other, because that's I mean, my family. Yeah, I mean, like it's... if if you know the the Cali family, like you know that we just shit on each other at all times. It, it's kind of like the endearing parts of The Simpsons. Where they do get on each other's nerves a lot mm -hmm. and everything, but like ultimately they're still a family who cares and loves for each other. Yeah. I always think like to Family Guy for like comparison, yeah. and I'm just like, Family Guy was just like a shitty show that had no family values to it. Like, I don't feel like you could save it. No. I mean, it, it was funny when I was younger, and then, okay, that's a good choice. Um, looking back now, I'm like, it really isn't. It's sometimes a little disturbing. Yeah, it's sometimes really disturbing. And it's mostly just all punchlines. Yeah. Like, that's all they're trying to do is to get the jabs at, like, pop culture reference and to get those punchlines in without You know really... what I like to think about is, um, Married with Children. Yeah. Because, like... Even that show, like, you would shit on your family, but then at the end of the day, you still love them. That kind of thing. That's what I like. Yeah, those are good. Because it's like, when you genuinely care for each other, it's like, I make fun of you because only I can make fun of you. Yeah, like, with my brother and I, like, when we were kids, like, nobody could make fun of him. No. Except me. Like, I was the only one. If anyone fucking went near him and tried to make fun of him, I was going to punch you in the fucking tit. <laughs> like, only I can make fun of my brother. He's my brother. So you better fuck off. Here, here. <laughs> you didn't really have that, though. You didn't have siblings, so... <sighs> I mean, you have an older half-sister. two older half-sisters. But, like, it's not the same as when you actually live with your, like, sibling and... Actually care about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, mine. What am I, I doing? A and B again, or is yeah. it left and right? A and B. Like I, I, I have two half sisters, but I don't really have sisters. Mm-hmm. I mean, one. You I, don't really know them. One I didn't know until I was ten, and the other is quite. Quite older, isn't she? She's like in her what? Well, forties. Okay, the one I didn't know until I was ten is even older. Mm-hmm. Um, because pulling up family history here, uh, that was when my dad was sixteen. Yeah, your dad had her quite young. Yeah, and they put her up for adoption, and then she eventually reached out. Um, my other half sister. I'm not paying attention anymore. You're not doing too bad, actually. Thanks. Anyway, your other half-sister... My other half-sister was from my dad's previous marriage. And... Uh... Yeah, just a lot of bad blood in the... In this. So, mm -hmm. just, like, really difficult family it's stuff. It's a t tough topic. And, I mean, like, like when... Uh... When my grandpa had passed two years ago... Um... 
she came to the funeral for some reason, which is weird because she's technically not part of the family. Didn't your grandparents, like, love her, though? Yeah, they did. But uh, she didn't even talk to me. No. Like, and I had never met her. Like... That was my first time meeting her, and she Yeah, was... she came into the back room at the church and didn't say a word to me. And then she didn't come up and talk to me at the uh, lunch until like she had to because we were hanging out with my cousins who she wanted to talk to yeah so it was just kind of like that kind of sums up my relationship with her well and that was the thing she had never met me and i at that point had been your wife for five years yeah it's just like like we're going on our seventh year of marriage this year and like i had never oh you fucker go fuck off So yeah, just like really bad, Mm -hmm. bad blood. It's not. Well, I remember, I think it was the second year of us being together, maybe the first that like she hadn't sent you like a Christmas card or like given you a gift or anything or even said a Merry Christmas because she was mad about you not putting her as your sister on Facebook. Yeah, I stopped using Facebook, but I had my dad listed as dad. I had my other half sister listed as sister. My mom wasn't really on Facebook yet. Mm -hmm. So that was basically it. And then she was so pissed off that I didn't have her listed as a sister that she stopped wishing me Merry Christmases and Happy Birthdays. Right. And it's just like, okay. Like, Like that's ridiculous. If you're going to be in your 30s and be that petty, Mm -hmm. like, really? And, like, at this point, I only have two good memories of her in my whole life. Right. And, like, I saw her at least twice-ish a year back when I was really young. Mm Mm-hmm. So, like... I don't know. She just didn't leave a very nice impression. Mostly, like, even if I was really mad with Josh, I would still want to, like, introduce myself and get to know who his spouse was. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's just what you do. Like, no matter how mad at Josh I will ever be in my whole life, I would never, ever want to, like, not show him my love and support of his choices and his... I'm going to cry in a second. Oh, sweetie. I mean, like, it was a very liberating feeling to do Mario Party 3. Because the file we used on Mario Party 3, we deleted my sister's file. <laughs> And that was just a really big moment for right. me. Right. It lets. It's like when you burn an article of clothing of like an ex's or. Oh, okay. Never mind. I have three good memories of my sister. Okay. Because one is with this game. Like the one we're currently playing. Aww. Because uh, we played a lot of Mario Party when she came over. Uh huh. Because what else do you do? Um. And we did a 50 turn round of oh my God. the Koopa board <laughs> oh my of this God, game. Oh my God, no, why would you do that? Just to play Mario Party. Oh my and that God. was one of the three good moments I have fond memories of. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like I would never want to like... I may not agree with like my, my brother's choices, but I would never ever want to like... Tear him not, down. Yeah, I would, like, mostly if I was meeting his spouse for the first time, I would want to be as cordial as possible. Yeah. Even if we had some bad blood between us at the moment. Like. Like, Yeah. Oh, you go on. Like, just going back to my sister at the funeral and everything, it's like, there's more you should do than what she did. Like. Like, my grandfather yeah, just your, passed. Yeah, your blood grandfather just passed away. She wasn't even related to bl- by blood. No, and it's just like, you, you came to the funeral, and it's not really a, uh, like, I'm sorry for your loss kind of thing. Like, it, it was just... Yeah, I'm just... I was really upset about that. But, like, at the same time, I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm not even surprised. Mm -hmm. So, that's just how I am. And for me, having... Like, 
having a half sister growing up like it really kind of made me want to have a full sister mm -hmm. or like a full sibling of some sort because i'm just like the when i was a kid i didn't realize all the bad blood that was going on right like to me it's like i was just like oh i get to see my sister mm -hmm. and it was really you nice. didn't understand the intricacies of like the family yeah. dynamic and um, things I, I, like that. I didn't know the behind the scenes stuff that was really bad going on. But that's good. That means your family, like your mom and your dad, really protected you from that. Yeah. Whereas so, they could have used you as a pawn. But so like I, I don't remember. Like I was way too young. Well, I wasn't way too young. Like I wouldn't say five to ten is really young. But I mean, no, like, it's pretty young. Like thinking now, I don't have as many memories as I did like five years ago of those years. I, I mostly just remember she was here mm -hmm. less so than what we did. Mm -hmm. Wow. What the fuck, Luigi? Every single time. Fucking every time. What a piece of shit. Anyway. So yeah, like I just remember that she was there and enjoying it. Right. And it was just like, so it just made me really want to have an actual sibling to spend time with. Mm -hmm. And I never really got that. So I was alone a lot of the time. And then like the mm -mm. kids around my block my parents didn't like because they were pretty pretty bad influences though i think it was more i think your mom was just really overprotective of you yeah because since like, you were her only child and are her only child because like i think back it's like we didn't really do anything awful like you weren't into drugs we weren't into while well, we were kids <laughs> like the worst thing we did was egg a house. I mean, I didn't egg a house. Oh, fuck. Come on. But also, we were dumb kids. We this egged the house not... across the street. Like... Yes, there we go. Like, it wasn't that huge. It could have been worse. It could have been and worse. And you do dumb things as a kid. Yeah. Like, you, you do. And it's... So I think my mom was a little overprotective on that. Well, you were her only baby. I, 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 Thinking back, I actually think what she was more worried about wasn't who I was hanging out with. It was their family. Because, like, my best friends at the time, his uncle w was into drugs and mm -hmm. all that stuff. And it's like, that's not a good So crowd. she wasn't worried about the kids. She was worried about what you would see at other people's places. Or, like, what I would get wrapped up in. Right. Like, I, when I, I ended up working with him at his family's pizza place. Yeah. And I, he was a driver there, uh, the uncle of right. my friend. And I was just like, yeah, I was really scared of you as a kid. He's like, you were scared of me? Like, yeah, well, there was the one time when, like, we were in the basement at your dad's and you just dumped a bucket of water on us. He's like, I did what? And I'm like, yeah, you just, like, dumped a bucket of water on us. He's like, yeah, I was probably way too high. I don't remember any of that. Aww. And it's like, that kind of indicates, like, where he was at. Right. And then my other friend across the street, his brother was older and kind of not in the best of crowds either. Mm -hmm. So like thinking back, it's just like my parents were trying to keep me from those bad things. Right. Your parents were just trying to protect you. Which is fair. Um, I think ultimately like with my one friend with his uncle and everything, like his uncle wasn't a bad guy or anything. He's actually really nice. Mm -hmm. It's just some people like you just... He got dealt a hard hand. Right. And, like, when he got older and everything, just kind of... He kept getting he a lot of bad with, breaks. He had to deal with things his own way. But now he's, like, doing really well. Yeah. He's got his business. I mean, they were going to move out and they were offering us their house if we could afford it. Mm -hmm. That was pretty sweet because it was a pretty nice house, actually. Yeah. So it's just, like, he's a good example of where someone can come from when they're at their low. And what they can really get to. Right. He was a really nice guy. I've met him a handful of times and he was very nice to us. Yeah. And so like, I guess that comes back around to because of those bad influences, I didn't really get to see friends a lot right. growing up. So I was really alone a lot of the time. And then my parents didn't like playing games with me. I was a really sore loser. Right. Uh, so that kind of... I got them to play, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! with me and some... Obviously, I played video games with Mom a lot and everything. Yeah. But, like, when it came to board games and stuff, I was a very sore loser <laughs> a lot. Like, if I lost, I was so angry. I'm, I'm amazed that you can put up with me, then. 
Because, like, remember we played the fucking Disney trivia and you yeah. didn't even get a turn? <laughs> I think what it was was when I was a kid, I felt like I was really good at board games. And I still think I'm pretty decent at them. Um, but, like... It was those times where it's like, I know I can do this, but mm -hmm. then for whatever reason, I'm just you just dealt the wrong hand. so bad, yeah. and I just get so frustrated, and I'd be very angry. I remember playing Pokemon Monopoly with my three cousins once. God, that's downstairs. And, <laughs> that is downstairs. And Elijah, what a sweet baby he was. <laughs> I, it was a really bad round for me, but I was just kind of pretending, because they're kids. Right, you like, being I was, the older one. I was the one. oldest one. Obviously, my oldest cousin out of that group is only like two years younger. But like still kids, the youngest was really young and I'm just like playing around and I'm just like fake crying that I've got no properties or whatever. And he's like, Michael, you, you can have Electabuzz. Aww, <laughs> Elijah. <laughs> he was just so concerned that I was just having such a bad time. Your cousins were like, your, your youngest cousin fucking, I think he hated my ass. Like, uh, I don't think he liked me because, it, like, I was taking you away when we first started dating. That That is true. The other thing was, it was it was going on long before you. Was it? Yeah. Because once I started getting a job, mm -hmm. once I had a job, I couldn't go over there every single day, all day when they came over to stay at my grandparents. I couldn't do it because I had to work. Right. I would see them when I could. Mm -hmm. And obviously, like, then when I'm dating, like... I'm spending less time with them because, like, throughout childhood and my teenage years, I would spend every waking moment at my grandparents when my cousins were, were over. So then once you got in a relationship, and, you're like, I'm out. Yeah, and then, like, Johnny would come over. Like, we made a movie. We mm -hmm. made a home movie, like, with Johnny and stuff that was really cute and dumb. Yeah, like, I would, use, I would use my cell phone to record the background music. And stuff, and just like it, it was a really dumb home movie that was really fun, and it was doing stuff like that that I think he really enjoyed. And I would go swimming with them every time, but then I kind of got really self conscious and didn't like to swim anymore, so I didn't go swimming with them. And then I got a job, and it's just like slowly I was I wasn't able to spend as much time with them like they wanted, mm -hmm. specifically him, <laughs> specifically what he wanted. And as I got older, I kind of saw how unfairly the other kids got treated compared to him because he was the baby right. of the family. So it's like, well, then I started focusing a little more on spending the time with the older brothers. Mm-hmm. Continue. No, I'm just going to let you. No, I'm... I need... I need you to... Okay. Babe, please, for fuck's sakes. Um, I started spending time with the older brothers a bit more to kind of... Let them know that I care about them too, because Elijah definitely took a lot of my time. And I definitely liked hanging out with him and stuff. He always has his little things he's really into, like, he was just so into Nerf guns. Mm -hmm. And we'd have a bunch of Nerf Wars and stuff. But it's just like, definitely the older ones kind of got pushed to the wayside mm -hmm. when Elijah was born. Especially the oldest, Mikhail. Mm -hmm. He definitely got pushed to the side very hard. And, yeah. So I, I try to spend more time with him. And, yeah. So, like, for me, I, it was more about getting to spend time with my cousins than with, like, a sibling. Right. Oh, my God. Is a mini mushroom the only way out of here? Yeah. I wasn't going to bring it up till you were done your story, but that's the problem with this one bottom space here. Is that the mini mushroom and this fucking Goomba are really the only ways out. Oh boy. I don't think there's even like a jump pad here. No, there's oh, there one is. jump pad. So you have three ways out. That's it. I guess you can technically rack up coins. You could. You can. You can wrap up coins here. But like to get out to get to somewhere else, you, it's not happening that easily. Like especially with the... Uh... Mostly with this Goomba not fucking rolling higher than a yeah. fucking two. And you have two Mega Mushrooms, so like... Yeah, there's no way out for me. And you could try and stomp on them and steal some coins. Yeah. Ooh, another lucky one. Two in one game, and I think this is the first time these have even popped up. Um, no, I think we've had one before. It's been a while. Yeah. 
Oh, fuck my life. Oh. I don't even remember now what the fuck we were actually talking about before you went on about your cousins. <laughs> my sister. We were talking about my sister. This is true. But now you kind of have, like, a brother. Yeah, I kind of have a brother and your brother. Yeah, like, we're not super, like, close with my brother. Like, we don't hang out with him a lot or talk to him a lot. Like, I know you don't. I... I text him once in a while. Wow, they or, all got caught up by that yeah, avalanche. Yeah, they did. Um, but I talk to him every once in a while. And, yeah. Um, he, like, he's a good kid. And you and him have a lot of similarities. Like, There's that saying of like boys usually marry women that are like their mothers and women usually marry men like their fathers. Yeah. Well, I fucking almost married my brother. <laughs> like, you and Josh are so similar in a lot of ways. Like, you're both really nerdy. You both have, like, a lot of the same interests. Like, you both love Steven Universe. Yeah, I think that definitely comes from having similar interests when we were growing up. Yeah. Um, you and Josh both loved Pokemon growing up. <laughs> and Digimon and uh, anime and all that crap. The animus. And I think that's because, like, I didn't have my dad in my life. So the biggest, like, male influence was... Your brother. Was Well, he was the one that was always around. Yeah. Even though he was a dork. But, so, like, it's really cute that you two can get along. Because if you two didn't get along, I think it would be harder. Yeah. So I really enjoy that you guys have a lot of similar interests. Waluigi, you fool! That was your ticket out of here. Yeah, well, fuck that. Tiny. <laughs> I like that you can still do these things when you're small. Mm -hmm. It just looks ridiculous. Like the ball is the size I am. Yeah. We definitely have some interesting... Did you notice that when it opened, I looked at... Like, if you're on those two spaces, you'll look into the shop and watch them? Oh, I didn't. I'm going to have to go back and see that. Yeah. Anyway, go on. We definitely have some interesting family dynamics, both of us. Like... Yeah. <laughs> uh... I think... Um... But it's kind of nice, because me and Josh weren't close a lot as kids. Like, we had a lot of sibling rivalry. Yeah. And I blamed a lot of stuff on him, but that's because my grandparents pretty much said that was okay. Um, because they thought he was a lot like my father, so they really weren't as nice to him as they were to me. Yeah, which so, is So, like, fair. I felt like, I feel like now looking back that it had given me an approval to shit on him as much as possible, which I feel really bad for. Because he's he wasn't a bad kid. He was a good kid. He is a good kid. He is a good kid. He is a good apple. Like he really takes care of mom. You know what? I'll say he's a good pineapple. Oh my god. Uh, you got all three of those. Yeah. I definitely thought that pink one someone else was gonna get. No. No. <laughs> But um, he takes really good care of mom, like yeah. Whereas I would have abandoned her long ago, which I technically did, but like, but yeah. yeah. There's just a lot. Our families are complicated. I mean, they're like, and then you have outside sources. Like, I had the coworker that knew my brother's friend. Yes. 30 coins. Um. So then they started to talk and I really fucking hate her. Mm -hmm. And then she like tried to like weasel her way into my business through him and I yeah. like lost my shit at her. And I told her that like if you ever fucking did that again it would be way worse than a talk that you would get to. And uh, okay, so I went upstairs that day because after my brother had phoned me and was like, "You're an," I like he pretty much told me he hated me. Yeah. And I was very upset because I wasn't. He was upset because I hadn't um, informed him yet of some some personal business, which I it wasn't any of his or my family's side of the 
a business. Right. It was something that you and I were dealing with, and I had gone home early from work, so that coworker had t- told him that I had gone home early. So then he phoned in to check on me and was very upset that I hadn't wasn't telling them anything because it wasn't my business to say, and I didn't want to tell them. So then he got really upset with me over it. And, like, that really hurt because we were just, like, getting into a good place with him. Right. So then, like, that next day I went into work and I knew she was going to be there. And I saw her upstairs. And I calmly had to put my coat away and I put my purse away. And I went up there and I was like, "Uh, we need to talk. We can either do it here or we can do it somewhere more private. Your choice. Yeah. And she's like, oh, no, here's fine. And I'm like, okay. And the guy from meat department, the he's a really nice guy. I really like him a lot. He was sitting up there and he was like, he was nearly eating popcorn, just waiting <laughs> for the shit to hit. Um, yeah, he's just like, oh, boy. She's- well, <laughs> I'm going to get to the best part of this is that I told her off. I was like, if you ever fucking interfere with my family business again, I will literally have some worse things to do and say to you than this conversation right now. And then I left because I could not sit there and look at her. Oh, you fucker. Um, so, yeah, so, um, I guess I left and, um, the guy from meat department, I just learned this a couple, like, months ago, was like, oh, you know, the one you hate? And I was like, yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, that, that girl, uh, she was crying last time I saw her because of you and I was like yes mission accomplished yes <laughs> and he's like okay. are you proud of that I was like not gonna lie yeah. <laughs> really fucking proud of myself really proud of that one and he just cackled and I was like yes yes this is this is good this this cheers me on but like you just don't fuck with my family like you don't do that no and like to put her nose in your business like that oh she was gonna get bitch slapped so hard okay I gotta find the Waluigi please please my dude okay he's off to the left but yeah like you just don't fuck with my family no Wow, neither Waluigi or Wario got a single one. Mm Mm-hmm. Either... Even if I don't overly care for my family members, like, even though I'm not close with my mom, like, where our relationship gets is getting a lot better. Yeah. But even during the hard times when I did not like her, like, if you fucking did or said anything about my mother... I was going to shank you. Like, I literally would stab you. Yeah. You just don't do that. So, we're on the last turn. We are on the last turn. I think you have won. I probably have, but we'll see. I I know Wario has the happening space, but you have the coin star. Mm -hmm. So, you have three stars. I probably could have used a mega mushroom there, but I forgot. Oh, well. So I definitely think you have the coin star and probably the mini game star. But even if you don't, mm-hmm. I don't see I win Wario by, uh, getting the mini game star. No, I win the the e- coin. Even if he did, I would win by, by coins. Yeah. So I think we have gotten this board in the bag. Mm-hmm. Despite the rough start, <laughs> <laughs> and I hope everyone enjoyed our. The Great White North family family talk. I mean, family's important. Family is important. And I mean, I kind of let you know that when we started dating. I let you know that family's important, but if they have to come above, like, our relationship, I will shank you. <laughs> I will literally stab you in the kidney. Which is kind of the opposite of my dad, who was like, yeah, don't let your mom get in the way of you. I love that your dad said that, because, like, your mom... I love her. She was a handful. She was a handful. 
the she, first, she had a first lot couple of, of years, she was a very, she was a handful. She had a lot of trouble with the whole Michael is growing up and has someone else in his life. I think that she also didn't understand me. Like I was an enigma. Because <laughs> like I'm not your average girl. I'm not, I don't think I'm an average human being. <laughs> you definitely have an attitude that she was not expecting. <laughs> I'm not sure why she has an attitude. Yeah, she does. She is like very much. Um, she is stubborn. Stubborn and headstrong and opinionated. And I'm always right. And if I'm wrong, I'm right. Yep. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm wrong because I'm not. Like, that, that, I think that's the similarity between her and, and I. Oh, also, I, I need to say this. I have the best mom ever. She, C- just in case she listens. Yeah, in, just in case like, she listens. Because she said <laughs> I should be saying that in every single episode. Every single recording, I should say I have the best mom ever. Well, you do. She is one of the best moms ever. But, um, yeah, I don't think she understood me. Like, I don't wear a bra. Like, I hate bras. If, if I could burn all the bras in the world, I would. Um, and the first time that she, like, met me, I guess that was, like, a weird thing. Yeah. Where she's like, is there a reason? And you're like, yeah, she Eh, just doesn't. Comfort. Comfort. She's like, okay. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just, this is comfortable. End of this board. I also think it pissed her off that I just had, like, clear skin when she met me. <laughs> yeah, she lo- She fucking put, like, the fucking... Um, nose strip? Yeah, on my nose, and we had to wait, like, ten minutes. And then she pulls it off, and she's like... There's nothing here for me to look at. She's like, did you leave this on? And I'm like, yeah, I didn't just take it off for, like, to piss you off. <laughs> like, what are you trying to say? So she's like, Michael, put one on so I can see all the blackheads come off. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you had to be punished. But she was not happy because like, nothing came out of my nose. <laughs> I, I I do still want to do an LP with my mom. Like, oh my god, she be so adorable. She is very against it because she thinks that it's like, oh, you just want to make fun of me and have everyone laugh at me. It's like, no. No, she doesn't like, understand. It's not a laughing at her kind of thing. Like, ha 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 ha. Not like that. It's more of a, oh, she's adorable. Like, maybe do a Mario 64 LP with her or something. I think you should just do a one-off. Like, don't commit to something big. Like, play yeah. a fucking round of Mario Party with her. <laughs> oh my god, do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I probably could. Yeah, I think you could. I think you could persuade her. I won! I think this is gonna be the first story mode where I don't fuck it up. <laughs> like Mario Party 3. <laughs> fuck Mario Party 3. Jeez, Wa- Waluigi. Is that even a close race for like. Oh, no. fuck. <laughs> no, nope. it's not. Yeah, sure. Uh, but wait. Uh, M- Michael, please. We all know that there's going to be a fucking mini game and a present, <laughs> and we all know. We all know. But back to your mom. She is pretty great. She is great. She's adorable. She is adorable. She's funny, but I think she. <laughs> oh, she's. She's definitely. Um, She's funny. She's overprotective. Oh, this one might take me a bit. I don't... I always suck at this. Yeah, I don't think I remember this one. Yeah, okay. okay. I was always really bad at this one. Oh, you can't even watch. Not really, no. So... This is all random chance. Yeah, pretty much. So talk more about your mummy. Your mummy that we she, love. She says some of the funniest things. Mm-hmm. Like... Uh, oh my god, turnips. Oh, fuck. The, the turnip thing when I was like reading how turnips worked in Animal Crossing, how... New Leaf. 
any Animal Crossing New Leaf, how they'll disappear if you go back in time or after a week they they'll, they vanish. And yeah. she's just like, well, and then how do the turnip farmers? farmers handle that? I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, if they go bad in a week and everything. I'm like, whoa, I'm, I'm talking about Animal Crossing. She's like, oh. Just <laughs> like, oh, well. She's just adorable. Your mom is just this cute uh, lady. Uh, Fuck. See, like, this one's going to take me a while. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I remember we, my dad and I and her were driving home one night. And she just looked at the moon and she was just like, I wonder why the moon has phases. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. Ha, ha. She's like, no. Like, why does it change? I'm like, mom. Mom. <laughs> mom. Please, please, please don't be serious. Please be joking. Uh, she wasn't joking. Oh my god, your mom's adorable. Uh, I love her. As, so and the much. funny part was, I was an honor student back in middle school. So when I was learning about the moon phases, she would like test me off my notes and stuff. So it's like right there, like within the last couple oh, of years. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Well, at least I'm already at zero. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Within, like, the last couple of years, she had read up on why the moon had phases. Uh-huh. Well, apparently it didn't retain. It, it didn't take. And, like, geography. Like, we were at the golf course for lunch. And she was confused about how, like, Red Deer could be north of Calgary but south of Edmonton. And it's like, well, that's just how... That's just how, like, geography works. Like... She's like, I don't get it. I'm like, well... Please. Please, Mom. I love your mom a lot. Like, Yay! Yay! She's just so cute and funny. You know, the children in Biafra. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love They're her They're starving so children much. in Biafra. Every time I didn't finish everything on my plate, she would she would be like, oh, the starving children in Biafra. And then I asked my social teacher, like, is there a place called Biafra? And he's just like, well, there used to be, but it's, it, it, it's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, it either... It just like like it's no longer a country, and it's just like mom. <laughs> mom, you can't be keeping keep going like this. You gotta stop. So she'd be like, "There's starving children by Africa." Like I asked my social teacher, "It's not a place anymore." She's like, "See, it's because you didn't eat your food." I'm like, "Whether <laughs> or not your fault. whether or not I eat my food is not going to change how someone else in the world like." Apparently, oh, uh, I know there's like famine across the world, and I want to help with that and everything. But it's like whether or not I eat these peas isn't going to affect that mother. I want, really want to know how she thought. Like, I'm, I'm sure. I know it's just a joke with her, but I really want her to explain to me now how you eating the peas would have changed this person's life. I, I think it was like, um... It's not like the, like, fucking peas are gonna go magically if you don't eat them from your plate to Biafra. I, I think it was more along the lines, like, there's people starving in the world and you're wasting this. And it's like, that's true. But it wasn't gonna get over there anyway. Yeah, it's like I just I don't want the peas, mom. Stop guilt tripping me. <laughs> Quit guilt tripping me. I'm seven. <laughs> Is that okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope everyone enjoyed this family talk. Family time with some Mario Party in the background. <laughs> <Mario Party. laughs> Thank you all for watching. We love you all. Bye. <laughs>